The 32-year-old viral sensation is known for cutting the crap and showing the unglamorous truth behind mumhood. I actually think I look really hot there. Now she's put her name to print. Ah! It's me, Big Ryan in the phone! And empowering queens everywhere. They just come to me to go, oh, my life's not that bad because cons is worse. Yeah. Mother, author and queen of the everyday queen revolution, Constance Hall. And Constance Hall, while well, she joins us now, welcome to New Zealand. Thank you. What's it like being here? Oh, it's amazing. We, we, we were not expecting the, um, the support that we've got since coming here. It's just been phenomenal. Because you're here on a speaking tour and all the tickets for that speaking tour, I'm told, sold out in three minutes. Yeah. That's and then incredible. everyone got really angry and I was just like, uh, they did not let up. They were like, Constance, Constance, we're not going anywhere. What are you doing? We want a we want piece too. And I was like, oh my God. So we made it work to get more. And so we released another like lot of shows. I, I don't even like calling them shows because we're just chats of book launch. But right. people were, were there until like 2am last night apparently. <laughs> so what do you think it is about what you're doing that is striking such a chord with mums? Um, I don't really, like, that's a really hard question for me because I just write about my life and myself and I write about the experiences that I've had and, and I've sort of done it all, not done it all, but I've done so much with, like, all the different kids and the different ways that I've had them and a volatile marriage that's just gone, like, it's, had, it's been perfect and then it's been horrendous. And so I just write about my life and everybody then just sort of responds. That I've learnt that the truth is really healing. It's really, um, people are just really, they feel like, the, I, originally I thought maybe I was scaring people off parenthood, but actually I've done the opposite. People are like saying to me now, they're going, I feel like I can do it because I don't have any pressure to do it perfectly because mm -hmm. I'm following you and I'm seeing that you're like stuffing up at every corner. And, yeah, <laughs> so. and we all do that. I mean, some of the photos that we've probably been showing while we've been chatting, some of the photos of you and your kids are so lovely. Obviously, there's some other ones that are slightly provocative. I'd be really interested to know when you upload something, do you ever suddenly think, or do you second guess it? Do you think, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that? I close my eyes and look away and hit post. <laughs> and I, if you don't think about it too much, then it's okay. But I, um, like, originally people used to say to me, you're very brave for doing what you do. And I never understood that because I'm just really open. I've always been really open and it's not something that I feel like needs to be, I need to be brave. But then, like, the more popular that I got, the more I realised that I actually did need to be brave because I was getting a lot of, as much love as I get, I also get a lot of hate. Mm. And so I, I, now I have to actually use that strength that I'm getting from the women that, that um, are on the journey with me and I meet them face to face and they give me so much strength because they tell me their story and we just like, it's just a big girls night out, a big queen fest. Can I ask you like about maybe too much bravery? So is, do you wonder or worry that there'll be a point where your, your son will say, you know, mum, I wish I hadn't, I wish you hadn't posted that picture of yourself naked sitting on the toilet. <laughs> well. Because some guy just sidled up to me in the playground and now I get to see my mum naked on the toilet. I'm eight years old. He sees and it all the time it. anyway. We're a real naked household. So right. there's but nothing But he's he like two years old see. now, right? He's five. He's five. Yeah. So the thing about that is How much I is always too much? think. There's definitely a line with your children. There's a line with what I share about my kids all the time. Respect their privacy and stuff. But when it comes to the things that I share, like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm not going to stand up for what I believe in and to do what I want to do because it might embarrass